This is a video to show you how to set up a airplane gyro on a Spectrum DX6i. My test setup here is a uh, Nitro Planes Cub Piper L4 military version and I've got two GY48V gyros. It's a basic no-nonsense piezo inexpensive gyro and I have two of them here. One is for the rudder and the other one is set up for aileron. The receiver, I have the gain for the rudder gyro is hooked up to the gear switch and uh, that's on the gear channel it is. And I have the aileron one is hooked up to the aux which for the DX6i is going to be the flap. So this will show you how to set up. You can do one gyro and you can use it on the gear or the flap. There's basically it's two different ways of doing it. Uh, you can make the choice, but here's how it goes. When you are in airplane mode for the DX6i, this switch here it says gyro. Forget that. Uh, forget about that gyro because you might be hooking it up to the gear or the flap. That has to do with the helicopter uh, gyro, which would be on the always on the gear for a helicopter. But for an airplane, if you already have gear, you can use the flap switch uh, for your gyro, or you can use the gear switch. Once again, the gear channel is going to be hooked up to the channel. Uh, the gear, sorry, the gear switch is going to be hooked up to what's labeled as the gear channel and the flap switch is going to be hooked up to what's labeled as AUX1. For the gear switch, we are going to be setting up the gear travel adjust, okay, and it's defaulted to 100%. And if I flip the switch, let me get a little better zoom in here. If I flip the switch on the gear, You can see the little arrow, little arrow that's right there. That is going to be moving down, up, okay? So right now it shows up, which is really the up position is going to be away from you, okay? So this is the up position. It's away. This is when the arrow is down, up, down. You can see how it's down right now. And when I flip it to away from me, it is going to be up. Okay, each gyro might be a little different, but I'm going to go over specifically with the GY48V that I got from Hobby Parts. And with the defaults and uh, the travel adjust being 100% up, with the switch away from me, the gyro LED is off. If I then switch the gear to the up position, the light is going to come on. Okay? That LED there. Once the gyro is initialized, that LED tells you if it's in heading hold or rate. I highly recommend flying in rate mode to start off with. It's more of a natural organic feel. I do not recommend starting off with heading hold. So if I flip the switch down, that LED is off, up is on. So off heading, oh, sorry, off rate mode, on heading hold. You will then use the travel adjust value to set your gain for the gyro. Okay, so if I go over to the gear, it's currently in the up, which is the rate mode, and I am going to lower that to 30%. That is where I want to start my initial flying with. You should always put a gyro into a plane after you've flown it without the gyro and make sure that everything is correct. You also want to look at my cool RC for the, uh, the page on setting your gyro reversing. This video is mostly specifically about what to do for the DX6i. So now if I want to uh, play with both heading hold and rate mode, I can flip the switch up. It's in heading hold mode. And once again, I'm going to start off with a gain of 30. 
Okay. So with those, those now set, I can see how my tail reacts. Okay, it's not a lot of gain. A rudder is typically going to allow for more gain, but right now it's not a lot of gain. I am in heading hold mode and I'll go to rate mode. It's kind of hard to see in this video, but that tail is moving some. Okay. So that's basically how to set it up for a heading, hold, and rate. If you want to be set up for rate mode and off, then once again the down away from you is going to be the rate mode. And if I flip the switch up, what I'm going to now do is, uh, because I want the up position to be off, this is rate mode and off, I'm going to set this value to zero, okay? Now a rate mode of zero, okay, a, a travel adjust of zero in the up direction sometimes does not get you into an off condition. I consider an off condition when the LED is off and you have a very low gain. Right now the LED is on, so what's happening is that the servo output from the receiver is pretty much on the borderline of between rate mode and heading hold. So to deal with that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the sub trim. So you can see it. I'm on sub trim and I'm going to go over to gear. And I'm going to find the gear setting that allows that light to, that light to just turn off. So it just turned off. It's on and it's off. And in my case, yours might be different. I'm at plus three for the sub trim. So you can see how the light's kind of on and it just goes off. It goes off at about plus 13. And we go about plus 15. That way I'll know it'll be off with a little bit of temperature drift. Okay, so I'm gonna now go back out. And once again, my travel adjust for the gear, when my switch is up, it's off. When it's down, it's on. And if I want to illustrate that a little bit better, what I'm going to do is just change the travel adjust back up to 100% because it's easier to see the, the gyro uh, moving the control surface when I'm like that. Okay. So you can see that tail moving when I, that rudder's moving when I move the tail. And the switch is down. I'm gonna now move it up. And the tail does not move. So that is using the gear switch and the, um, uh, for the rudder, for the rudder gain. Just one more thing on that, don't forget that you want to go back and set the gain for your switch in the down away position and I'm going to set that back to 30% for the first flight. Okay. Now I have another gyro that's set up for the ailerons, I don't have a wing attached right now. But that gyro is going to be set up on the flap channel, which is aux one. And right now, my flaps by default, when I'm flipping that switch, it doesn't really do anything. So you can't just hook it up and expect it to do something when you hook up to the flap switch, because by default, and I'll go in there, by default, the flap values in the DXI are set to zero, which is basically in the middle. It's, it's basically going to be set to the off position for no matter where you flip the switch. You can see it going between land and normal as I flip that switch. The away from me is going to be the normal. Down is going to be land. So if I want to set it up so that when the switch is away from me, which is what I like to do, if the switch is away from me is nor is is normal, that's how I normally fly, and I want to fly that in rate mode, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 
the setting for the flap and I'm going to go to up and I'm going to give it about 30 percent and if I wanted the land or the switch down position to say the oops to be heading hold then I am going to go down let's say 30 percent and that's going to give me a a uh, selection of heading hold or rate mode so that is going to be let's see that is going you have to select that switch there for it to, for it to be locked in but with that switch away from me it is in the normal position and the light on that gyro right there is off if I go and flip the switch to the land position now you can see the arrow highlighting let's get into focus here highlighting the land and now that gyro light right there is on once again I'm gonna flip the switch here in the transmitter while you're watching this that's normal that's land so I know that I have the switch working and it's moving the gains around the, the way that I would expect if I want the switch in the land position to make the gyro turn off then basically I am going to select this value here and I'm gonna bring it towards zero and I'm gonna watch that light okay it just turned off See, it's on now it is off maybe one or two more clicks and it turns off at a value of down seven. Each of these GY48V gyros are gonna be a little bit different. And even every brand, the centering value is gonna be a little bit different from even from unit to unit. Um, so once again, what I did was I started off with a heading hold value and I moved towards the rate value. And once I saw the light turn off, then I knew it was gonna be in the off position. So that's the, uh, the basics of setting up a DX6i with a GY48V gyro. And you can use either the gear channel or you can use the flap channel. And once again, when you're in airplane mode, forget what the book says about gyros because that's for helicopters. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to look at my cool RC on the gyro page for a lot more information and more videos. And also check out the RC Group's thread. Uh, lots of people there will lend out your, their help uh, to things that you need. Just post your question. Be descriptive yet brief. And somebody will answer your question.